Friday night baseball now from Fenway Park here in Boston. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Boston Red Sox. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Drew Pomerantz gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. Harold, what do you got? Well, what we've seen in baseball is the pitchers are dominating, and the strikeout is the big thing. He's averaging just under a strikeout an inning, so he fits right in the category with his peers. He's got dominating stuff. He can go after hitters when he needs to, and I'm looking to watch him execute and really walk out of here with another Maybe dominating the performance. The Here's Ben Revere. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. Harold Reynolds, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead, but comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You've got to stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can dwindle quick. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Soft liner toward first, but no problem at first, and that's the first down. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels' starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, they have to be hoping that Cole Calhoun gets it going again. Over the last 10 games, he's only hit one home run, and as a guy that hits in the middle order, they're expecting a lot more from him than just one bomb. The power just hasn't been there over this stretch. Riding into the box, Craig Gentry. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Into the windup and the pitch. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Well, with Matthew Ross back there, we may not see a lot of offense unless you have a game plan to expand the strike zone because he calls out of the zone better than anybody. I shouldn't say better. I should say more than anybody in the league. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. 0 2 is a fastball that misses inside. 1 and 2 now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout. He's of course a long ball threat currently third in the American League in that category. Lays off 1 and 0. Oh. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Oh. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. The pitch. To two and two now. I like that. Show him the curveball and then try to sneak that low 90s fastball by him. It's going to look faster coming off those breaking pitches. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball. And that's how the inning comes to an end. Angels are gone in order. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. Matt Shoemaker, a right-hander from Michigan, is the starter on the mound. What's your take on him, H? 
Well, Matt, looking at his numbers, he's got three times the strikeouts to walks. And what that tells me, that's very good. He's going to dominate hitters. His stuff is electric. And if he continues to keep guys off balance and not walk hitters, he'll continue to have a successful season. We'll see if he's able to execute that game plan in this Leading game. The Into the box now is Dustin Pedroia as he'll front. lead off the home Dustin half of inning number one. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. It bangs off the billboard and it's out of here. A solo home run off the bat of Dustin Pedroia. Sixth home run on the season for him. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. Here's Xander Bogarts now. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And Harold, this Angels ball club entering play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matt, they're feeling it right now. You know, they're starting to play good ball. They're really playing good. And they're closing in on a division. And this time of the summer, it's all about baseball. You come to the park, the grass is green, you smell the hot dogs, and you're excited to play even in the afternoon during batting practice. And that's what I see with this club right now. And he missed with it. It's one and two. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. Base is empty here with nobody out. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Harold, what's the key to continuing the winning streak? Everybody knows this is a hitter's ballpark. You hit a ball in the air, it's going to carry. You hit a ball on the ground, it's going to get through. But the key to hitter's ballpark is don't try to do too much. You know the pitcher's going to nibble. And you don't have to touch it. Just reach out and put it in play, and the ball can carry. So contact is the key to hitting in a hitter's ballpark. Digging in, Mookie Betts. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. That missed close. It's ball two. And that last pitch looked pretty good. This guy's too good a hitter to get pitches like that. You got to be a little frustrated. He's sitting now 2 0 instead of maybe 1 1, and you can nibble the at bat a little bit more. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Outside, 3 and 0 now. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Here's the 3 and 0 pitch. Swing and a little tapper, but it's foul, strike one. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. He's set. Here it comes. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. 
Good job by the catcher to keep the ball from getting too far away and allowing that base runner to get into scoring position. That keeps the double play in order, which they need, seeing as they've already given up one run in this inning. 2 0. Oh, Seems like he's really having a tough time finding that rhythm right here in the first inning. He walked a guy, now he's falling behind this hitter. He better figure it out quick. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Well, I don't know what he was sitting on right there, but that's the pitch you want. You're heading the count and you get a fastball right there, middle in. I don't know. I'd have had to swing at that. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get in a more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher here it is on three and one and a good cut there but it's chopped foul at the plate and it's full now three and two ready now with the payoff pitch skied into very shallow right Calhoun has a read on it two gone and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up so coming to the plate Jose Ramirez past battles with Matt Shoemaker a three for seven line a high fastball is in there Now a move over to first and he'll dive back in. Oh one count here's the pitch. In the dirt here. Now the 0 2 pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Look out. Seven games. That's one week of feeling pretty good. Let's see how long he can make this last. Here's the Panda now, Pablo Sandoval. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. First offering on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Matt, this is how you want to start a game. First inning, you already jump on them early. You get one run in, and now you have two other runners on base. You come up with a big hit here. You can really make a big dent right here in this game in the first inning. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Looking to minimize the damage here. And this is going to be a foul ball. Two men are on with two men out. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The 2 2 one more time. In the dirt here. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now, three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. That'll miss to Sandoval, who displays some rare patience that time. It's ball four. 
At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He was one for four back in Wednesday's contest. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And that one stayed up a little high. Well, Matt, I'm looking at his high pitch count here in the first inning. They've done a great job of being patient and making him work. The key here, keep that pitch count up and maybe you'll get in that bullpen. Bases are loaded here, two down. This one skied out toward right. On the move is Calhoun. And that's the third out. Red Sox strike for a run thanks to the Dustin Pedroia blast. Second inning coming up, and Boston has the early 1-0 lead. Here's Albert now in prior matchups against Drew Pomerantz. Three for 15. He also has one home run. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And here is strike one call to the 37 year old veteran up there. Nothing and one. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. One and ball one. one. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. And yep, able to lay off out. the fastball the way here. Two and one now. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Here comes the payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you're wondering, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Okay, let's take a look at the defense for the Boston Red Sox brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking in the outfield at Mookie Betts. This kid came up as a second baseman, flew through the organization tearing it up. But where are you going to go when you're blocked by Dustin Pedroia? So they moved him to the outfield. I cannot believe how quick he caught on. Now to the plate, Cole Calhoun. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Nope. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Here's the pitch on two and two. And this is fouled at the plate.
ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, 3-2. and two. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. Red Sox on top in the early going. 1-0 as we play the second. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Well, he battled to get it to a 3 2 count, but that pitch wasn't Escobar. even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Here's the shortstop, Yunel Escobar. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And no advance, it's ball one. The one and no delivery. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Pedroia on to first, and he really paid the price at second base, but it's a double play, and the inning is over. Angels go quietly there. They trail this one one to nothing. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher Blake Swihart. And the average isn't pretty down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. The wind up and the 0 1. Swings through it for strike number two. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Trout on the run. He slides and brings it in. Nice play there for out number one. That's a slick play out there as we take a look at it on show motion. He was charging in quickly and he slides to get under the ball just before it reaches the ground and gets the out. Well done. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in down the first baseline and he'll step on first for the out three unassisted the second baseman number 15 Dustin Pedroia. there's the second baseman now Dustin Pedroia he'll look to duplicate his first at bat when he homered to open the inning first delivery to him on the way this is hit down the right field line but it's going to get out of play for strike one Shoemaker looks in. Here it is on 0 and 1. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. A little low, it's 2 and 2. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. He's ready with the two two pitch. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. And again he's unable to keep it fair but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Here's a swing and a high pop up drifting toward the third base dugout and Simmons will make the play here to retire the side.
down in order go the Red Sox. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Digging in the switch hitter Leading Danny the Espinosa angels. and the Second home baseman. away splits tell Danny us he's actually Espinosa. quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here's the first pitch to him. And this one's one not out. close. It's in the dirt for ball one. In prior matchups against Drew Pomerantz, one for five. He's taken him deep once. Here's the pitch. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Pitch on the way. And this is going to be a foul ball. Ready to deliver the one and two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. At the plate, Andrelton Simmons. And there you see the numbers over his last eight contests. He's really been leading the charge for this team. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Outside two and one. And the pitch on two and one. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now, two and two. Chopped weakly up the first base line. Ramirez ranges to his left, and good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you can do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. In now, Martin Maldonado, and he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Swing a soft liner. Throw in time and the side is retired. Angels go down one two three. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Leading Xander Bogarts will lead stop. things off here in this one run contest. Xander Bogart. And a layoff oh, fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. And that's inside, looked like the slider, and it's 2-0. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Go, 
too high that time and it's three and one. Mookie Betts waits on deck. And good patience exercised as he works out to walk to lead off the home half of the third. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants right to get fielder. off on the right foot here. The Ooh, last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Digging in for his second at bat, Mookie Betts. He drew a walk his first time up. And that one stayed too low, apparently. That was a good take right there. Look, double play situation, and this guy's got a nasty split that makes you hit the ground ball. You're probably going to see it. That was a nice job of taking that pitch. Here's the 1-0. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, look at that stop. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. Now batting, first baseman, Henley. Ready for another Ramirez. chance? Hanley Ramirez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. The 0 and 1 delivery. Nope. And a That's neck ball. high fastball that time. This ball will be chopped foul. Runner at first here, one man out. And that misses two and two. Boy, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Here's a look over to first, and he's back easily. All even at two and two. Here it is. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. So we'll see if he can straighten that out. Come on. Another try at two two. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another 2 2. Now, a double play ball, perhaps for Escobar. Espinosa over to Pools, and it's a double play that'll get him out of the inning. Red Sox go down quietly, they lead it 1 to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Ben Revere off comes Angels, into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ben Revere. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1 and 0. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That will look like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Here's the one and one delivery. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. 
Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. Dribbled to the right side. That veers foul, so they'll do it again on three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit no, against this guy, but at That's least they have a base runner here. Craig. We'll see if that leads Gentry. to something. Here's Craig Gentry. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now he'll step off the rubber and go to first. A dive, but he's back. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. First offering on its way. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball is put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And that misses one and one. Well, that's a great pitch right there. You're saying to yourself, why? Because you got that base runner on. That's almost like a pitch out of outside fastball, catcher set up, ready to throw. If you get the call, great. If not, you're set up to throw him out. Hey, double him up. Wait. And he'll miss the target there with a the curveball, and it's two and one now. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. In the dirt here. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And I think that's the case of the pitcher being a little too preoccupied with the speed at first. He lost focus on making the pitch and throws an absolute scud. The irony, of course, is the runner's now on second, and he didn't even have to steal. Three and one. Here it is. In there for a called strike. Three and two now. Angel still looking for hit number one in the ballgame. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Come on, don't block him. And another foul ball. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. He'll try it again, three and two. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. The center fielder, number 27, Mike Trout. So stepping in, Mike Trout, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And this one's in the dirt. 
And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 and 0. Oh. Ready with the 2 0. Oh. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. Now that is power. You want to challenge me? I'm going to give him a big swing. That was the big swing right there. I loved it. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. I tried to backdoor him there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Takes this the other way to right. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. When you play in this park where the fences are shorter, this is going to happen more often than any other ballparks. When he hit that ball, it took a big bounce and hopped over the wall for an automatic double. Stepping in now, Albert Pujols. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Now oh, he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Here it comes on nothing and two. Hard hit toward the hole. And that is through into left field. A base hit. Trout rounds the corner and is headed home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. So the base hit there plates their second run of the inning right. and brings us to Thank our league leaderboard in Cole terms of RBIs. Calhoun. And as you can see, he currently ranks second in the AL in that department. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. He's set and the pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. The 1 0 delivery. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Under it is Bradley, and that'll be the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batter. Two gone now Short for the Angels in the fourth. And Escobar. that'll bring in the shortstop, Yunel Escobar. First delivery to him on the way. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. One and zero pitch on the way. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Hitters count. Here's the two zero pitch. Three and zero now. Three balls, no strikes. He's set. Here's the 3 0. That one's in there. 3 and 1. Well, he made a nice adjustment. That was a nice pitch right there. 3 0. Now puts the count 3 1. That was the same pitch he threw 2 and 0 and missed on it and got the ball called. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. 
There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. He spoils another one and will do it again. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Angels are out in front, two to one. Into the box, Jose Ramirez. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Third baseman. Number 11. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Revere is under it, one away. Now batting, designated hitter, Pablo. Sandoval. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in now, the versatile Pablo Sandoval. Here comes the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. Now batting. Center fielder, Jackie. Riding in Bradley once again, Jr. Jackie Bradley Jr. He flew out in his last at bat. Shoemaker looks in. First pitch on its way. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and it's 0-1. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. Now the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Man, this head bat has changed quickly from 0-2 and two, now to 2-2. Two and two. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. A 2-2 two and two count. Here's the pitch. And here's a splitter that's inside as he's forced to jitterbug out of the way there. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Our score remains two to one. You're Stephen Wright is going to take over now here in inning number Sox. five. So it'll be a number bullpen game from here on out. Stephen Wright. Danny Espinoza will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Fouled back. Here's the 0 1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here it comes on nothing and two. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Ready with another 0 2. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Here's the one and two delivery. Bounce to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. Third baseman. 
Andrelton. In now is Andrelton Simmons comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. Looks at a knuckleball that finds the bottom of the strike zone. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 and 2. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Swihart is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting, catcher, Martin Maldonado. Now in the box, Martin Maldonado. He's 0 for 1 thus far. <laughs> Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Fifth inning, 2 to 1 our score. Knuckleball, one and one. Here's the one and one pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Backhanded. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Angels are gone in order. They lead it two to one. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher Blake Swihart. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. This one's down to third. Simmons is there. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now batting. Left fielder, Andrew. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. There's that tight slider right there. Just missed getting under the hands. That's a good pitch. I like that pitch. But if you don't get it where you want it, it could be a dangerous pitch to throw. And there's ball two now. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Calhoun is there, two down. The second baseman, number 15, Dustin. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded by Escobar. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're down 2-1. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ben Revere. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Ben Revere. First pitch of the at bat. There's a knuckle ball that dances right over the outside corner for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Knuckle ball floating dangerously high and missing. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. 
This one's flared toward left center. Coming in is Benintendi. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first down of the inning. How about him? Designated hitter, Craig Gentry. Here's Craig Gentry. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Two runs on two hits and no errors to this point for the Angels. Hey. I think I'd take that one too. It's 0 and 2 now. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Here's another 0 2. Hit hard but fouled toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. Popped high in the air. Waiting for it now is Ramirez. And he's got it for out number two. The center fielder number 27, Mike Trout. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball, ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. That knuckleball dances over the inside corner. Here's the one and one delivery. Hard on the ground towards short. Bogarts has it. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. Everything looked routine until the throw. He just rocketed that thing directly over the first baseman's head. I mean, he's a pretty good athlete, but he had absolutely no chance to come down with that one. Here's Albert now. His career numbers against Stephen Wright. He's gone four for nine. He also has one home run. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Out of play off to the right. It's 1 and 1. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And a knuckleball. Too low, apparently. Now a throw over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. Ready with the two and two. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Angels leave one. They still lead it two to one. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have that. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 
And a neck high fastball that time. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously, it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And that one stayed too low, apparently. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. And it's gone into the monster seats. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. Home run number nine on the year. And the Red Sox have come back to knock things up at two. Well, nobody was having any kind of luck with him. With seven batters in a row going down, he put it into that in a big hurry. He rolled that one right out of here. Now batting. Here's Mookie Betts. Right fielder. Mookie. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and zero. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Here's the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Calhoun on the run, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Riding in once again, Hanley Ramirez. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Into the windup and the pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. You know, Matt, he's having great success, but I can't say it's because of the first pitch strike. Now, that's over 60% of the time he's throwing that first strike, but usually to have this kind of success, you would think the ratio would be much higher. The windup and the 0 1. Rip down the first baseline. And Pools won't get there. This is a fair ball. Around first, digging for two. Around second, headed for third is Ramirez. And he's out at third. Might have gotten a little greedy that time. Oh, you hate to see guys run into outs, especially when it's because of an unnecessary risk. He had two all the way, and he clearly should have just been happy with that. In now, Jose Ramirez. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. One oh count here it is a fastball down near the shoe tops too high and it's three and oh well you just give up a double now you're down three oh in the count look there's no need to challenge this guy right here I'm looking to the on deck circle and I'm gonna go ahead and walk this guy nibble make him chase something different because I want that hitter on the on deck circle. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Well, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Drilled to the left side. And he'll get in there safely. And it looks like we're going to see time called here as he looked to come up a bit gingerly after he hit the first base bag. But from all indications, it looks like it won't be enough to take him out of the ball game. Here's the Panda now. Pablo Sandoval comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Sent on the ground out to second. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Red Sox get a run on the solo shot by the X-Man, Xander Bogarts. The five, six, and seven hitters to start the seventh, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. 
Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. All tied at two apiece as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's have a look at our game summary through the first six. Digging in once again, Cole Calhoun. His career numbers against right Stephen Wright, four for Cole 11. Calhoun. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0 and 1. Matt, that ball's right down the middle. It looked like he wasn't even going to offer at it. Some guys don't mind taking the first pitch, and they even feel comfortable when they're down 0 1. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. Makes the play, 1 away. Now batting. Shortstop. Here's the shortstop, Yunel Escobar. Escobar. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Into the windup and the pitch. Nope. And a curveball that time that broke too low. One, no the windup and the 1 0 pitch. Aye. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. And this is popped up back behind second. Under it is Bogarts, and there are two away now. Now batting, second baseman, Danny Espinosa. Ready once again, Danny Espinosa. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch on its way. And a knuckleball that misses at the shoe tops. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. A knuckler that just missed too low. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2 0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. 3 and 0 now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Set to deliver on 3 0. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Ready for another chance. Andrelton Simmons. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1 and 0. Here comes the 1 0. 2 and 0 now. On 2 and 0, you can bet he's looking for a fastball that he can turn on and drive. Might be thinking about picking on that big hole between first and second. Before the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. So they go down without a whimper here. They'll get up and stretch here at Fenway. And we are tied 2-2. Yusmer Petit gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Yusmer Petit. Ready for another shot now. Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Jr. 
Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And now pitch on the way. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Bradley waits on the 1-1. One, one. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Left field and deep. Revere ranging back. And it bangs off the monster. And that's going to be a base hit. So the possible go-ahead run is on here to start the home half of the seventh. Wow, he was willing that thing to get out of here. Would have given them the lead right here late in the game. But it ends up hitting off the wall, and he heads into second with an extra base hit. We'll see if the next man up can come through in the clutch here. Digging in to try it again, Blake Swihart. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First delivery to him on the way. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. A throw behind the runner at second back in standing. Here comes the 0 1 A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Revere moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. Digging in, Andrew Benintendi. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here comes the first pitch. And he just misses with a curveball. Ready with the 1 0. Right over the middle, knee high. Here's the one and one pitch. Hit down the third baseline. And this will get by him at third down the line. It's a fair ball. And that's going to play the go ahead run from second as they move out in front here at three to two. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit like the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself. And his teammates are pumped up as well. At the plate, Dustin Pedroia. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First, here's a throw over. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Come on, face it down. Nope. Her ball just misses, apparently. 1-0. Oh. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Hey, 90 feet is a big deal when you're talking about a one-run game, so that's a little risky. But, hey, sometimes you have to be aggressive and force the other team to stop you. Here it comes on one and one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two.
Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats so the count will stay put at one and two. Well that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. One and two here it comes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. Well, that base hit right there gives a two-run cushion. When you have a two-run cushion late in the game, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. 38 takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Xander Bogarts will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there 1 0. Well, you see there on the graphic, he's at second with his 18th double of the year. Four runs, eight hits, and one error on the Boston line score. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Out in front here is Bogarts as he drives this one foul down the left side. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike, and then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing with his mind right now. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. One out and a runner on second base. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Now batting. Right Here's Mookie Betts. Over okay. two of the walk for him so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. The 1 0 delivery. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Hey, now 2 0 with a great hitter up, a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have to pitch very careful. Two outs here with a runner at third. This one's down to third. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Eighth inning coming up. The Red Sox four, and the Angels two. Carson Smith will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. A knee high sinker tough pitch strike one great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Set. Here's the 0-1. Good hard sinker swung on and missed 0-2. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker? You have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. You got one of those swings that goes over the top. You're never going to hit him. Way outside. One and two. Here's the one and two delivery. 
And this is pulled hard but foul. Hope they brought their gloves for that one out there. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Sinker, 3 and 2 now. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tying run to the plate. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Standing in now, Martin Maldonado. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. One and zero pitch on the way hey. leaves a slider right over the middle. Oh that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. Check swing no swing says the home plate umpire ball two. and two now getting late for two our score as we play the eighth inning and he strikes him out as well so make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen no problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. In now, Ben Revere. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Oh, that was a good looking slider to hit. It kind of hung him one. When you got a slider right there and it's spinning towards you, that's the one you, you annihilate. Comes set and the 0 1. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Set. Here comes the 1 1. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Matt is one pitch away from striking out the side. Now that's a shutdown inning. Your team gets your runs, and then you go back and shut them down. Two out, nobody on. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Ramirez is over near the railing as he makes the catch to retire the side. Angels go down one, two, three. Still down by a count of four to two. Cam Bedrosian is on to pitch now out of the bullpen the in the bottom half of the Number eighth. 32, Cam Bedrosian. Here's Hanley Ramirez. He'll get things started now on the bottom of inning number eight. First baseman, Hanley Ramirez.
Just a tick behind for a strike. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. Another 0-2 home. And boy, what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats. Still stuck on 0-2. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Hit in the air out to left field. Revere is under it. One away. Now batting, third baseman, Jose At the plate, Jose Ramirez. Two hits and three at-bats for him in this one. From the stretch. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And the pitch. Slider is in there and now it's one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. One out, nobody on. Hard on the ground towards short. Escobar has it. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting, a designated hitter, Pablo. Here's the panda now, Pablo Sandoval. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Now here's the pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it. 0-2, oh here it comes. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Maldonado gathers, and the throw to first ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We've played eight full. Boston's out in front, four to two. The historic old state house here in Boston. Welcome back to baseball here at Fenway Park. Your attention, please. Ninth inning safe situation coming up now as they'll entrust Craig Kimbrell with the baseball here as he'll try and close things out. Craig Gentry will be charged with trying to start a rally in the ninth as they go to work against Kimbrell. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. 
Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One and one, here it is. Hit on the ground to short. Bogarts has it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. And error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Set to deal on two and two. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Here's Albert now, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 0 1 pitch. And he lays off for ball one. And in previous meetings with Craig Kimbrell, he's gone three for six. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And a full house here at Fenway. 36,984 on their feet. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Foul back. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Here's another one, too. Close, but it's not over yet. That's ball two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? On to Lansdowne and gone. A 
solo shot for Albert Pujols. Home run number 15 for him thus far as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. That my friends is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. Tyler Thornburg gets the call now here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Tyler Thornburg. Calhoun will stand in now as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far the wind up and the 0 1 and this is fouled back and out of play two out nobody on. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. The one and two pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Swihart is after it. Throw on the first, and the Red Sox continue the role they've been on seven straight victories now as this ball game is over wow what a week for these guys talk about firing on all cylinders winners of an amazing seven games in a row they say to never question the streak and these guys aren't they're just enjoying this ride and it's a 4 3 finish in this evening's ball game Stephen Wright wins in relief for the eighth time this year. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show.